Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs. This is my quick update on my 16 week journey to getting CISSP certified. I'm on week six and I'm using this official study guide. Last week I was on domain five, which is identity and access management. And today I'm just going to give you a quick update of how that went, studying for that, and also what else I've updated into my study guide. Last week on domain five, I learned a lot of things and uh, just have a quick notes here. We did authentication methods. As you know, there, must, there are three methods, main methods, what you have, what you know, and who you are. What you have is say uh, a token, a key, or something that you have that you can authenticate with. Who you are is your, say, biometrics, fingerprints, eyelids, uh, anything that you can authenticate that is part of you and who you are. And then we have what you know, which is for the most part, your passwords. So that was uh, the first thing that we learned in there. Then of course we learned about access control technologies. Uh, say single sign on, we learned about radius, cables, and uh, all those technologies that for the most part we implement in every day uh, at work. Then there was uh, access control methods. Discretion, there, is, uh, there are three main methods, discretionary access control, non-discretionary or RBAC, robust access control, and mandatory access control, which is what they use in the army. So those are the three that I learned, pretty basic stuff. And in addition to that, I practiced a lot using this book. So that's what I pretty much what I did last week. I practiced a lot of questions about access control and uh, I also learned you will also end up to understand the differences between all these access control methods, the types of attacks that can happen, say for example, for uh, what you know, your passwords, for example, what kind of password attacks can happen, brute force attacks, for example. So those are the basic things that I was learning last week. So far with the material that I have, I think there's a lot of things to learn but it's not that hard. I don't believe it's that hard. It's just too much information to learn. So I'll just keep practicing. So that's it for the update. It's just a basic access control. I know what I'm doing now. I think um, as long as I can retain this material, I'll be good. Right now, this is how much I've covered of the book. 606, and as you can see right here. And in addition to that, I'm using Cybrary. I'm using Pluralsight, and I'm also uh, practicing with, with some online practice questions from different places and if you have any suggestions for me just let me know in the comments otherwise I'll see you in the next video